Hello, I'm going to go over this week's work list. Um, because we don't have classes this week, uh, I'm going to go over it as I would the slides at the beginning of my lesson. Uh, so I'm going to go over some announcements and then I'm going to go over the work schedule. I'm going to do it separately between 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. I'm going to show the screen for each grade level and then talk about the work schedule for that week. So if you want to fast forward to your grade level, when we get to that point, you'll be able to do so. I'll let you know when we're there, but let's get going with our beginning announcements. Remember that each week we do have support times in the afternoon. However, this week they, they will not be held uh, because we are attending a conference. Uh, so starting next week, those will resume in the afternoons at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. on Mondays is language arts. 1 p.m. on Tuesdays is social studies. 1 p.m. on Wednesday is science. And 1 p.m. on Thursday is math. Again, this week, starting December 5th, those afternoon sessions will not be held as we will be attending a conference, but they will start up again next week on December 12th. There are no classes this week. Um, that doesn't mean that we're not available. It just means that we're going to be a little slower in getting to you than you're used to. Um, if you have questions, the best way to get a hold of us is to email. You will probably get a bounce back reply saying that we are at a conference um, and that we'll get to your, your question as quickly as we can. Uh, but yeah, that's the best way to get a hold of us these next few days. We do have a social session coming up on December 16th. Uh, that's an evening, wait a minute. That, yeah, this is December 16th, that is at 10 a.m. Um, it is optional for anyone to attend. There is a link to it in our newsletter. If you'd like more information, I will talk more about that um, in our classes together. And remember that we are starting a camera challenge for the month of December. So when we are holding sessions, this is for uh, students that we see three times a week. Uh, you can get your name in drawings for raffle prizes by keeping your camera on during the entire class period. Again, that is for our synchronous students who we see three times a week. All right, so this is the point now where I am going to talk about the sixth grade schedule. If you are in seventh or eighth grade, you can fast forward the screen until you see the slide with your grade level on it, and that will start the talk for the work schedule for your grade. All right, sixth graders, you have two assignments due this week. Um, I told you in when I saw you in person that this week was going to be a heavier week. Uh, and I want you to do your best to stay on schedule. You should have finished the quiz for Lesson 3.01. That should already be done. If that is not done, you're going to need to be making sure that you go back and take that quiz. Then 3.02 will also be a quiz. That lesson page is six pages long. I have you scheduled uh, to work on the first three pages on Monday, the second three pages on Tuesday, now you could take the quiz right away on Tuesday and then Wednesday you start working on the next session. I would actually recommend that switch to this schedule uh, in order to get that activity done because the activity is quite lengthy. After you've taken the quiz for 3.02, you're going to work on pages 1 through 7 for 3.03, the activity. I have created a video. You're going to want to watch that video that uh, where I show you exactly how to complete the activity. Again, it is quite a bit of work, so don't put this off until the end of the week or you're going to be you're going to be falling a little bit behind. All right, that is sixth grade. Lesson 3.02 a quiz, lesson 3.03 an activity. All right, so now I'm getting ready to talk to the seventh graders. If you have forwarded the message here, I am going to now talk about the seventh grade work schedule. All right, seventh graders, you uh, are going to be working through lesson 3.02 this week. So for this week, 
you're going to split the six pages of this lesson into two pages a day. Work on pages one through two on Monday, three through four on Tuesday, five through six on Wednesday. Thursday you have available as a catch-up day. This would be a good opportunity to make sure that all of your other coursework is turned in. Take another look at that collaboration project. Um, I, I want to get those um, assigned to you. I wanted to uh, a week ago already. Uh, so I really, really need to get those to you so that you can begin part two of your collaboration project. And then the quiz for 3.02 is due on Friday. Out of all of the grades, you guys are the lucky ones. You have an easier schedule this week for science. All right. At this time, I'm going to talk to the eighth graders. So eighth graders, if you have forwarded to this section, I am now going to go over the uh, assignments for you for this week. All right, eighth grade, you have a heavy, um, heavy assignment this week. Your, your work this week is you have quite a bit that you have to do. Uh, for Monday and Tuesday, I'd like you to work through the pages of lesson 3.02. Work on pages one through three on Monday, four through six on Tuesday. And then you could take that quiz right away on Tuesday and begin working on um, the lab for 3.04 on Wednesday to give yourself some extra time. I would suggest that little switch uh, if you're able to do it. If not, you can follow this and you'll be fine as well because you do have Thursday and Friday to work on lesson 3.04 and complete the lab. Make sure you watch the video um, that I've made for you on 3.04. That's gonna help you get through that lab work and make it seem as though I am right there with you uh, and that we've had our sessions and our connect and support times this week. All right, that is it. So good luck to everybody. If you've stayed with me through the whole thing, awesome. Remember to get a hold of me with any questions. The best way this week is to use email and I will return them as quickly as I can, but I am at a conference, so it will not be as quickly as you're used to. Have a great week and I will see you soon.